Hi, Monarch Perspective families. This is Ms. Kurganan, and I'm a social studies teacher here, a proud social studies teacher here. I love this school. And you are clicking into this because you are asking some of the same questions we receive all night at open enrollment. Should I take AP? So that's a great question. I'm here to answer um, the pros and cons of taking an AP course. And before I do that, I think I should back up and explain what is AP. AP is not just advanced. It's not just like an IB, an international baccalaureate course. It's AP for advanced placement, meaning it's a college level class. It's running at a college level pace. And this is the college level textbook that we work out of. I teach the AP Human Geography course. We also offer an AP government course that are open to freshmen. Now, when I say it's college level, it means that the reading level here is for a 19 year old. This would be the same type of course that you would be taking as a 19 year old freshman in college. So you would expect if you were taking this course, the pace to be faster, the expectations to be higher, and the workload to be a little heavier than just a regular um, ninth grade class. So then why do we offer this? Why, why would there be in any advantage to taking such a challenging course? And that's what I was gonna answer for you. So the idea of an AP course is we're offering technically a college level class here at the high school. And so if you were to pass and do very well and then kind of solidify that you know the information in what's called the AP exam in May, you could use those scores to some universities and say, hey, I already took the college class and that would be one less class for you to take in college. So it saves some families money. For just the right student who is passionate about a subject, this might feed their need for getting very in depth into the content. So we usually try and steer kids, if they are passionate about government, I mean, they, they read the news and they're just so interested in the history of our um, federal republic, well then we would steer them towards AP government because they're really gonna get in depth into the coursework. For uh, my course, my course is supposed to be after this is actually for 12th graders who want to um, kind of dabble in what a college class would be. Um, it is a, a culmination of history and geography and world history and economics. And so in analyzing human geography, we're looking for patterns and processes in the world um, for um, why are we similar and why are we different? And so we get really in depth. Um, so besides earning the college credit, I would also share that this course is weighted. And that means that your grade is technically one grade higher in your GPA. And that's what kind of pushes those like over 4.0 GPAs that you hear about. So in um, my class, I do need to be really honest. There are very few A's that students earn that, that and that's pretty true in the AP courses because it's such an advanced, challenging curriculum. It's very rare that students would earn an A, but that's OK because there's nothing wrong with a B. And that B is weighted in your um, grade point a little bit higher. But for some students to get a B, they're like, Kurganan, I've never gotten a B in my life. I don't know if I could live with myself with a B. And <laughs> so, you know, let, one, let's check the perfectionism, but two, you know, let's just Deep breathe, like there's nothing wrong with getting the B. Um, I like teaching this course because I usually get a pretty high caliber student who's got the time management skills, who's passionate about geography. And we do a lot of critical thinking, problem solving that's pretty high level. And so they like that pace and the challenge of the course. However, I also teach regular geo and there is nothing wrong with my regular geo. They are designed for ninth graders they're rigorous they are preparing students for college and for many ninth graders who are coming in with a seven period day that that's just they are busy enough in just the regular geo or the regular gov especially if you are a student athlete or you have music after school in marching band or you have an after school job the regular course is 
you know, you might be super busy and you don't have time for the coursework that an AP class would require. How much are we talking about work-wise for an AP class? About an hour of reading a night. So, you, you know, really look at your schedule and see if you have the time available because we do not want our students to be overextended. In a regular geo or a regular government class, um, that allows really busy freshmen the time to be involved in extracurricular activities. Regular classes are still great preparation for advanced AP classes you might do later. There's nothing like if you choose not to do an AP course as a freshman, you could pop into an AP class as a sophomore, maybe take AP World or in junior as a junior, maybe you do AP US, or you could be like my daughter who attended Monarch and she was like, yeah, I don't really wanna do any of the AP social studies. I can't wait till I do AP chemistry. And I was like, what? So it, it's not gonna bar you from taking those um, courses and challenging yourself later. And whatever you decide, we just ask that it's the right decision for you as a student and that you don't feel pressured to take something that you don't feel like you could um, stick your teeth into. But I will let you know that I sent two students or my own children here to Monarch High. They had the most fabulous experience and they are now at CU Boulder and they got the most excellent education here. And I hope you really seriously consider Monarch High. It is a fabulous, awesome school and I'm super proud to work here. So I hope you come too. If you have any questions, please reach out with email. The whole time that I've been talking, I have had my Mohai AP Geo Dot weebly .com, um, website up. That's for my course, the AP Human Geography. Thanks so much for your time. I know this is a tough decision, but we hope that you choose Monarch. Thanks a lot. Bye.